Kathy from Kathy Director and in this tutorial I show you how you can make a light streaks like this that the light is follow your finger let's get started first make a new comp click comp new comp and this is when you use HD put your footage in it and cut it to this part you want. Make a new solid, go to layer, new solid, call this particular, uh, make comp size, okay. We make a null object, go to layer, new null object. Click on the solid particular, grab code particular, type in particular and drag it in the solid layer. Funny things. Okay, next step, click on the null object layer and rename it finger track. Okay, now go to the beginning of the footage and go in the left corner here and put it on your finger. Then click on the particular layer to open the options, click emitter and click on the position X, Y, stopwatch, but before that click on alt and hold on and then on the stopwatch. So first open your finger track and hit P so you can see the position, then you get this here on your particular layer, the legit that, go to the pick web here and pick web this with the position. Now you can close it. Now you can go to your finger track, hit P for position, go to the beginning of the clip and hit the stopwatch. Now go page down for go one frame or two frame, whatever you want, and change the position of the null object. Make that in the whole clip. No, I did that in the clip, and you see there are all these particulars. Now get back to the particulars and go to particle press second two thousand. Then we go to velocity zero, velocity random zero, and velocity from motion to five. Close emitter, go to particular, and type alive per second one, and go to size by one. It's a very small path here you now. Opacity go to Okay, then go to your finger track and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then mark the first finger track and particular and go to layer pre compose. Name this comp real. Click here and new comp. Okay. Now make a new solid. Go to layer, new, solid, black and comp size. Okay. And drag it under particular. Now make a new adjustment layer. Go to layer, new adjustment layer and type in your effects panel fast blur, blur and drag it in the adjustment layer. Go to the amount 5, click uh, on the checkbox and go down to the modes and go to add. Go to your adjustment layer and duplicate that three times, so have four. Control D, go to the second adjustment layer, so the first that you have duplicate, go to the amount and change it to 20. Number 3 and change to 
40 and to the last one and change it to one, 200 and now we get this awesome glow effect now select all the layers all the adjustment layers and set it to screen now go back to the first comp and change the mode to add now hit T for opacity and change it to 70 percent now type in the facts color balance double click click on the luminance you can change the color whatever you want okay we use green so make the amount now you get this here now we add some tint go to effects and write tint I write it in German double click and increase the amount to 10 go back to the second comp go to your particular layer and double click on turbulence displays click amount 30 and size 5 now go back to your first comp add a new light go to layer new light you can choose a light green when you have green and okay make a point light click OK now make the footage to 3D now put your light to the fingertip and now parent it the light to the finger track and now when you turn around the light will follow the finger it's not every time perfect but so now when you drag on the Z X the light will be more and not more so now I do it like this I get a vignette effect now go back to the real comp and shut off the eye from the finger trick and now here's the result Awesome, huh? Whoa, backyards. Okay, 